Hi guys. Okay, I've got this box of transparencies. It's quite old. You, you may have seen this in my previous video. Anyway, I purchased it a number of years ago from a recycle centre, I think, but it's full. There's so many in there. They're quite thin. Now, I was wanting to use some of these. They were still on my desk after my last video, so I thought I would um, make some envelopes out of them. Now, I've already got some made, so I will show you what I've done, and then I'll just show you quickly how I made, made them. I mean, they're quite self-explanatory, but just so you know, my little process. Okay, um, this was the first one I made, and I was just using up some of that dotty paper that I made. Um, you would have seen that in a video a while back. Just a little scrap on my desk. So um, there's a pocket. So it's just like a regular little envelope, but see-through. I thought these would be cute to package some stuff for my Etsy shop. So that's one. This was also a little scrap of an electronic magazine. This one I cut down. Um, I've been trying not to cut them down because I don't want to be left with all these little strips that I have to <laughs> reuse. So I, um, I've let them stay nice and long. This one though, my little scrap was short, so I did cut it down. But that little strip I will still use that for something. I'll make a tiny pocket on a tag or something. This one's quite cute, actually. It's just a um, bit of a page out of an old electronics magazine. That's another. This one, um, I've got this roll of calico or burlap, depending where you live, with lace on top. It's not really my thing. Um, maybe if I coffee diet to make it a bit grungier. But um, I've got this roll of it. And seriously, I've probably used double this amount in five years. <laughs> I just, yeah, I don't use it. But I've put it on my desk um, so that I will use it this year. So there's a little bit used up. Actually, this one's quite cute. I might I might make um, a couple of more with that, that burlap and lace. Anyway, so I was going to make these envelopes with, you know, clear all around except for this little flap to be embellished. This one, when I use it, I might put a little paper flower or a little cluster or something there because it's still a bit plain. I think I'll add to this one when I go to use it. So I was going to make a bunch of those, but then, of course, you get sidetracked. And then I started thinking, ooh, what if I <laughs> tore some up a bit? Actually, this is the one I made next. This was some music paper. Now, the music paper wasn't, the page wasn't long enough to go all the way up to the envelope opening there. But I thought, that's okay because when the flap's down you don't see it anyway um, you can see it from the back but that's okay as well because when you put something in it then you can't see the other side anyway not that you'd put coffee dyed paper in it I don't think but just as an example. So that's that one. I quite like the music paper. Um, I may do some more music paper, but I'll have to tear it differently because, yeah, my music papers weren't long enough to go all the way around. 
Um, you could use book page as well, but um, the reason I haven't used book page is because I don't want the text to be upside down because I kind of did it the lazy way. I've, you know, folded the whole page over without ripping it through. But I suppose you could have the text the right way on the front if you cut it here and then the right way on the back. Depends how much you want to, you know, fuss and fiddle around. Okay, and then the other one I made was with the maps. And this is my favourite. I love this one. So I've got a little clear, little see-through bit there and in the corner. Um, I did do that with the music one as well. I put two clear little corners and sewed around. But the map one I especially love. Um... I just think it looks so cool. That's the back. So I've put a tiny little piece in this corner. This was actually coffee dyed map. But I only had one page left of this. So, so I will show you how I made them with the other half of that map page. But um, yeah, you could use jelly prints um scrapbook paper that's double-sided even if it's not double-sided maybe coffee diet just so the inside isn't so white you know brown paper bag stamp on it stamp some butterflies or tickets or script stamp or whatever you've got um yeah whatever i, I think they look really cute so i haven't made any that's all I've done, but I thought I would show you quickly how I made them. Now, because this scrap is a lot smaller, I have actually cut down one of the transparencies. So <laughs> I don't know if you can see this on camera, but I've cut that much off. Actually, these two bits. So that's the scrap that's left. And that's why I don't really want to cut them down. I don't want to be left with these scraps, which you may think just toss them in the bin, but I'm a recycled crafter and, um, yeah, there's no such thing as a bin in my <laughs> craft room. Um, all these little scraps, I will actually use all of them. So, yeah, so where I can avoid it, I won't cut them down. Okay, so... This is the other half of this. So I've just basically taken a page. Um, where's a full page? Yeah, here. And I've just kind of torn it in a, you know, corner to corner. Now, with these transparencies, I don't know if they're all like this, but mine are. Mine have kind of a, a side that feels dusty. <laughs> I want to say dusty. Um, and then there's the slippery side. So, or maybe it's a shiny and a matte side. Might be better. Yeah, it does feel dusty. But, yeah, there's a kind of matte side and a shiny side. With my little envelopes, I made the uh, shiny side on the outside. But you could do it either way. Also, my transparencies, just in one corner, one is a tiny, it, it's slightly rounded. I, I'm not sure why. Maybe when you put it on the projector, I don't know, a corner to lift it, I'm not sure. But um, I've been putting that little corner piece on the inside just so you know when I sew the front flap it's square in each corner I mean you can round these as well but um, yeah I didn't bother because look you probably heard me say it 5,000 times on my channel I'm, I'm very blind <laughs> so um, sewing these transparencies for me is quite difficult i um i can't see the edge like i can't even see the edge when i put it on this mat and when i put it on the sewing machine i i can't see it either so when i sew it i actually put a little bit of washi tape next 
next to it. I can feel it with my finger. I put a bit of washi tape there and that way I know um, where the edge is. Otherwise I'd be going off. I'm quite, I'm quite proud of myself that I did get quite close to the edges and quite, um, they're fairly straight. Okay, I went a bit whoopsie there, but given that I can't see the edge, it, it was not a bad effort. Anyway, so what I do, just cut your page down to size. And look, I haven't made many. I've only This is only my third one with the rip. So you may come up with a, a much easier way of doing it. A few, one of them I put the page down, sewed where I want it, and the, the music one. I sewed it first and then I ripped it found ripping at first and then sewing it is easier for me but do what works for you I'm just I'll just show you how I did it okay I just use these little clips these clips were sent to me by a friend Sue Freeman Sue if you're watching I don't know what I used to do before I <laughs> these clips because I seriously use them for everything. I think you only sent them to me two or three years ago. Um, but I really don't know what I did without them. Okay, so I've put my paper on the top, meaning it'll be on the outside of the envelope. But you could put it on the inside if you want, if you prefer that. I just didn't do the inside because when you put something in and out in and out of the envelope, I didn't want it getting, you know, caught caught under this. So I've put my paper on the outside. I think it looks nicer too. See if that were on the outside. It looks too glossy to me. But your preference, do whatever you like. See, I can't even, I can't see the edge to even trim this. You must be sick of me complaining about my eyes. <laughs> and I can actually see, not very well, but I feel pe bad for people that have even worse vision than me. I, I can't imagine. Okay. Because if I can't craft, oh my gosh, that's like torture. Okay, this little bit needs a trim. Okay. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but all my envelopes, I've put a straight edge along here, like these two, and I've put the clear part up the top. And... Um, I don't know why. I just thought that would be better. Um, yeah, I don't like the idea of a clear edge on the flap. To me, it'll be like, see this pocket? It's clear. I did toy with the idea of maybe stitching along there or sewing some paper along there just so that you can see where the envelope opening is. But um, yeah, I didn't. This one's got a little bit of an edge, which, look, I forgot to sew. Can't sew it now or I'll sew my envelope shut. But, yeah, anyway, I've put my paper on the outside and I've made most of them a straight edge there. So, for me, this will be the top of my envelope. So, it'll be like that. Now, this one, um, the top flap is fully covered, so... I might rip it a little. See, look, I'm being lazy. I kind of don't want to rip it now because I'm just too lazy to sew it. <laughs> These were such a pain for me to sew. I can't even tell you. Um, but I do love them, so I, I do want to make a few more. Anyway, I'm going to make this little rip here a bit bigger, I think. Just 
just so I've got a little bit of a clear spot on the flap. Then like that hard edge. Do we want some more clear spot up there? another little piece up here okay how far maybe maybe across there Okay, that might do. Maybe a little bit more. <laughs> okay. So that would be my flap. Yeah, I might leave it like that. And... Then what I what I'll do is I'll put this little bit there. Just see how far it'll come around. See what I mean about these clips? They're so handy. <laughs> okay. Oh, when you fold it, I'm not going to fold it yet. I'm going to sew it first. But I've left quite a big gap between the top of the envelope and this, just so you can, you know, easily get stuff in and out. But you can leave whatever gap you like. Get over there. Okay, so this... This page is a lot smaller because I've cut it down. So this is what it would look like. I kind of want more. Around there. Okay, so what I'll do now. Also, see how that's bubbled? Make sure your page doesn't have that bubble when you sew it. Now, I'm not going to glue this down. I've found once you've stitched all around it, it's quite in place. It's not going to move. The only thing is you will have a little bit of... tiny bit of lift under here. But that's only as far as your stitching goes. If you can sew closer to the edge, you won't get so much lift. I haven't worried about that because um, it's hardly anything. And I could probably rip a little bit more of that off if I wanted. But I don't think I will. So now, all I will do is I will sew along there. And... I will sew around that and around that. I'm not going to sew the edges first. So I'm just going to sew that and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've sewn around those edges and that. And now... I'm just going to fold up the bottom. I'm not going to fold the flap yet until I've finished sewing. It's just easier. Oops, wait, I've got a thread here. Okay. 
so that's my top and do it about there oops I'm hope I'm folding it straight I can't see from here quite harsh on <laughs> folding the edges because um see how they stand up I mean you could also do things like um you know when you make policy envelopes and you cut two circles and you hole punch the center and put maybe um an eyelet or something in there you could also you know put an eyelet there wrap some string around it or if you've got paper down the bottom, put an, you know, one here, one here, um, just to wrap it around. I don't have one to show you, sorry, but I, I think you know what I mean. You know, policy envelopes have the two little circles. I'm sure you know what I mean. Or you could have put a button with string. Or whatever you like. I'm just leaving mine like that because they'll be tucked into journals eventually and they'll stay shut like that. Okay, so now I'm just going to sew all the way around. Did I sew the I did. Okay, I did. I also sewed straight across there. But for now, I'll sew all the way around and then I'll sew straight across where I want my flap to fold. So I'll sew that and then I'll be back. Okay, so all I did, there's my little pocket. All I did, I started here. I sewed a line straight across and then around just so that I could do it all in one sew. And now I'll just fold it just above this line so that I've got a border on my flap. I mean, you don't you don't need to sew across there. I just um I just liked it to have that little border around the whole flap. Oops. Make sure it's lined up before you fold because this um the transparency, if you try and refold it, it's a bit unforgiving. It wants to go back to the original fold line. <laughs> yeah, I think it's better with the, the sew line up on the flap. Just because I've got two clear bits there. Okay, and that's it. Aren't they cute? I just love them. I think they're super duper cute. Anyway, that's it. I've got a lot more transparencies to muck about with, so I'm sure you're going to see a few more transparency videos in the next few weeks because I really want to use up this box. Anyway, I will make some more envelopes. I do like these smaller envelopes rather than the great big giant ones. But the big giant ones, I'll make some more as well because I want to pack little things in my Etsy. I need to um, restock my Etsy. <laughs> I'm so sorry for those that go to my shop um, and it's empty. But uh, yeah, I have 
neglected my little Etsy for a while. I have not been putting anything in there. But um, I'm going to start working on it this week and get some stuff in there. Anyway, so the bigger ones I think I'll use for my Etsy, you know, packing little things in there. And these little ones I think will be cute in journals. I do like that size. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.